Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video lecture, I will explain you the complete concepts related to the dimensions of the beam we have to use for the single story building, one story building, two story building, three story building as well as the four story building. So initially I will explain you the concepts related to what are the different types of the factors which is affecting on the beam sizes and what are the shapes of the beams which are available in the building construction process and what are the uh, dimensions we have to consider for the rectangular shape as well as the square beams with uh, one story, two story, three story as well as the four story. So if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. Let's start our video. So basically the beams are the horizontal members which is uh, perpendicular to the gravitational force. Okay, basically we know that gravitational force will be applied in vertical direction in y direction condition. The beams are parallel perpendicular to this, bit, uh, this particular gravitational force. So these are the uh, horizontal members generally used in order to resist the loading condition system and in order to support the column systems okay so the basic duty of the beams is used to transfer the load from the slab section to column sections and from the column section the load will be transferred to foundation section this is the main purpose of the beam section in the building construction process okay so according to is codal provision standard system or the or other standard system we have to consider some basic parameters before taking the dimensions of the beams okay those parameters are related to one is related to loading factor and second one is related to grade of the concrete and grade of the steel and third one is related to span of the beam and fourth one is related to soil bearing capacity these four factors which is influence the dimensions of the beams okay first one is related to loading factor generally we will consider the loads which is related to uh, both to lateral loading condition systems as well as the gravitational loading condition systems. If you consider the load intensity uh, for the dead loading condition, it will be constant. If you consider the lateral loading condition systems, the, uh, the variation will be obtained depends upon the different locality. Okay, in that particular region only the loading uh, distribution system will be increases due to the presence of the lateral loading condition systems. In that case, we have to provide the higher amount of the dimensions of the beam sections. So this is the first uh, factor we have to consider. If the loading condition increases, then we have to increase the dimensions of the beam. And the second one is related to grade of the concrete and grade of the steel. If you consider the grade of the concrete, which is available as M20, M15, M30, M25, M35, M40 like that. Okay. If you increase the loading on that particular structure, obviously we have to increase the grade of the concrete. So the grade of the concrete is directly proportional to dimensions of the beam. Okay. So if you increase the grade of the concrete, obviously the beam dimensions will be increases. This is the second point we have to keep in mind for the section. Okay. In the same process, third one is related to span of the beam. Okay. Third one is related to span of the beam. So this uh, we can call it as center to center distance between the columns also. So this is also third factor we have to consider. If the center to center distance between the columns or span of the beam increases, then obviously we have to provide the uh, higher dimensions of the beam, which is nothing but the we have to provide higher depth of the beam. So as per IS code, it is suggesting that we have to provide the side reinforcement for the building structural model. If the dimensions of the beam is exceeding 750 mm okay that that point we have to keep in mind okay so if you increase that center to center distance between the column obviously the dimensions of the beam will be increases and last one is related to soil bearing capacity this is the final one which is influence on the dimensions of the beam the soil bearing capacity is uh, if the soil bearing capacity has in uh, loose value then we have to consider the higher dimensions of the beam if the soil bearing capacity is less value then we have higher value then we have to consider the proper value of the dimensions of the beam so this is the four factors which is influence on the dimensions of the uh, beams we have to consider in the building designing section now i will explain you what are the different shapes we have to consider in the beam designing sections okay in the beam designing section generally we will prefer these type of the shapes which is related to rectangular cross sections and square cross sections and circular cross sections and polygon cross sections and I sections as well as the T sections. In these T sections will be having more contact area when you compare with other sections 
and rectangular section uh, square section is also having higher amount of the contact area for the beam section that's why we are uh, most of the people will prefer to use this only three sections which is related to rectangular cross section as well as a square cross section as well as a t cross section okay so if you consider the circular cross section area if you consider the beam then there will be, be less amount of the contact area at the top reinforcement section for the wall so because of that reason most of the people are not using the uh, circular beams in nowadays okay so again in for the i section also there is having high amount of the contact area but it is not having any monolithic construction so if you consider the polygon section uh, pentagon then it will be consisting of uh, some uh, single point contact area that's why nowadays most of the people are not using so we have to use rectangular cross section or square cross section or t cross section if possible we have to use i cross section also nowadays most of the people are not using circular cross section as well as the polygon cross section okay so this is the point we have to keep in mind now i will explain you what are the dimensions we have to consider for the rectangular cross section beam size and uh, square cross section beam size so if you consider the ground story section for the ground story section which is having the rectangular property we have to consider 9 inches cross 12 inches is the dimensions of the beam which is having 230 mm cross 300 mm in the same process for the square section we have to consider the 9 inches cross 9 inches which is approximately equal to 230 mm cross 230 mm for the square section in the same process if you consider the g plus 1 building structural model we have to consider the rectangular size which is having 9 inches cross 12 inches which is approximately equal to 230 mm cross 300 mm in the same process if you consider the square section we have to consider 12 inches cross 12 inches which is approximately equal to 300 mm cross 300 mm these dimensions of the beams are only useful for educational purpose for checking the reinforcement design results not applicable for the real time projects okay With these we have to consider these factors while uh, making the dimensions of the beam okay as per the thumb rule now i will explain you what are the dimensions we have to consider for g plus 2 building structural model for g plus 2 structural model we have to consider the dimensions of the beam is approximately 12 inches cross 14 inches which is equals to 300 mm cross 380 mm in the same process for the square column section we have to consider 12 inches cross 12 inches which is approximately equal to 300 mm cross 300 mm again for the final section which is of g plus 3 building structural model we have to consider the dimensions of the column is 12 inches cross 14 inches for the rectangular section which is having dimensions of 300 mm cross 380 mm in the same process we have to consider the 14 inches cross 14 inches for the respected section of uh, square cross section which is having 380 mm cross 380 mm for the uh, square cross section area so these are the dimensions we have to consider for the rectangular cross section beam as well as the uh square cross section beams these are the complete concepts related to different dimensions of the beams we have to consider in building designing section for the single story two story three story four story building structure so these are the factors which is influence on the dimensions of the beam sections and these are the different types of the shapes which is applicable uh in the building designing section in the same process these are the cross section we have to use and these are the dimensions we have to use in building designing section if you have a, any queries about this video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that i will give you the answer for the respected questions and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics thank you <music>